So I'll just show you uh, the coral booby. This is um, a fly that was shown to me years ago by Mickey Buick. Mickey, you'll probably remember, was one of the guys that sort of made boobies. I wouldn't say famous, I certainly wouldn't say infamous, but they certainly give them a, a place on the fishing map. Um, with their booby creations that they used to fish on the Queen Mother Reservoir um, down near London. So he first showed me this fly on, on, on Farnmore, Concrete Bowl. It's just it's devastatingly effective in there from December through to March. Um, I would also say I fished it on Walthamstow. And I fished it in large reservoirs and it works really, really well. Now, there's a few things that are key to this fly, but the main thing is colour. I'll talk you through that. Um, it, it's crucial that you get the right colour. You can, if you want, sort of trim the tail so you can get a competition size um, fly as well. So let's go ahead. I'll start with a. I'll start with a short shark special hook in the vise, full and mill. And because I'm tying yellow eyes on this, I use a yellow thread. So this is a a chartreuse thread. Now I come down to a point opposite the barb, let the thread hang down, so I'm opposite the barb there. And I've got this stuff, this is a key. Um, this stuff I found at Little's at Dunchurch, it gives an idea of how old. <laughs> so this is Wopsy's Coral. Um, it's as close to what I can find for Mickey's, and I take about an inch off the feather. Yeah, and then just in my thumb and forefinger, I just bind it together, and then I come in. I always, I'll just do that for the camera. I always snip to give myself a straight edge, and I clutch that in just a little bit where the booby eyes are going to be. Give yourself some space, and then just secure that in. Now, what I like to do with them um, flies along tails is I'll come up with my thread under and over, under, pull the fibres out and over, under and over and it just it kind of stops that tail wrapping, not by much but it stops it enough and then I've got um, this stuff, this is boosted mirror crinkle flash, um, just a little bit added flash really and I'll come in on my side and add that in there And then make sure that it's running parallel along the side of the marabou rather than below or above it. And catch that in. Then my scissors, snip that away to length. And then it's got a very long tail now. I'll just shorten that so we can hopefully get the whole fly into the video. Now Again with the fritz, this isn't a big fritz like we're normally used to, 15mm etc. This is a small fritz, it's about 7 or 8mm and it's as close as I can get to the colour of the marabou. Um, you'll need to look about and try and find this stuff because this 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 stuff I actually found in a bargain basement thing in Rutland. Um, so a very short fritz but it's the colour, the colours, the colour that's key for me and this is as close to the marabou as I can get, like a washed out flesh colour. Um, so I'll just strip some fibres away for the core. Now the problem with a short fritz is it's an absolute nightmare to work with. I'm trying to pull the fibre back because they're so short. Let's see if we can get this right. Hopefully. So I'm just moistening the fritz, fritz a little bit. Every turn I just got to pull the fibres back. Every turn pull them back. Try and keep it all going one way, the fit's going one way. It's a nightmare with this short stuff, but we'll see how we go. It's looking okay so far. And I'm just going to try and lock that in place there and get as many of these stray fibres away as possible. These are the bits that are an absolute 
pain to tidy up. So we need to try and tidy up this area a little bit because we've got to get the booby eyes on. So really short, close wraps of the bobbin to pull everything back. Do you know what? It's super neatness because you're going to have the. Oh, you bugger. Let me just rethread that. These things happen when you're fly tying, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Just come in where you left off. All I did there was took an end of the, the thread, threaded it through the bobbin and sucked it through. Little tip there, there you go, had a tip. So try and wet all that fritz so it's out of the way. That's looking a little bit better. Let me just sort my bobbin out so we didn't get a snap pitch again. There you go. Trim a little bit of thread. Like so. So now we've got these things. It's uh, These are preformed eyes. They're really good. Very handy for those that can't be able to do booby eyes. Uh, for vineyards and you can see they come preformed and all they do is I loop the tying threads around that. Now under tension that locks in place you can see. Keep it under tension and then wind it up from the eye until that locks in place. And then one, two, three wraps over one eye on the eye of the hook and then one, two, three wraps over the other eye on the eye of the hook and then just pull everything back like so to whip finish. In with the whip finishing tool I just pull the eyes back out of the way and whip finish there. Now you can a little bit of security, stick a little bit of super glue under there or a bit of varnish and there you go, coral booby, an absolutely devastating fly, fish through the winter months in cold water and um, fish it down near the bottom, um, although it will fish higher up in the water so go through the sinking lines until you find the fish, coral marbu is the, is the key to this, getting the right type of colour color. Um, same with the frets, you're looking for that washed out kind of salmony pink, not the bright um, coral colours that you tend to get these days, it seems to be boosted um, to the point where they're nearly orange. This is like a washed out uh, flesh colour like I say. Try the fly, it works in all waters, but more so the bigger waters um, for rainbow trout. Just devastating. Try it and I'm sure you won't be disappointed.